Wayne Niles and his wife Catherine grew up in Congo as children of International Ministries missionaries. After years of service in Haiti, they have returned to the Congo to help share Christ's message of salvation for the whole person. We've hit the ground running. There's a lot of work to be done here. So instead of working with Haiti, which is a small country the size of the state of Maryland, for example, now we're working with Congo, the size of America east of the Mississippi. The um, DEVRO project that we're here for uh, is actually going to be closely tied with the public health because you can't get good health just by taking medicine. You have to eat well, you have to have money, and so forth. A lot of the problems that cause poor health are social, economic. So what we're trying to do is make complete the picture, complete the package, uh, trying to bring in development, whether it's in micro loans or just seeds or knowledge, just in teaching them how to feed their children better and how to plant and grow their crops better. The project is going to work through the same network that already exists in the health system. We're actually going to try to use this to try to help finance the salaries of the clinics at the lowest level, the small health posts. We're going to try to install what's called community health endowments, a small garden of palm trees that will produce enough uh, palm oil that will pay the salaries. It's kind of like a HMO for the developing countries. The community has to come and work and do the weeding and planting and so forth, but then they get to be consulted for free. It's hard to preach to people that are starving and uh, or who are very sick and uh, you can't <clears throat> heal people by just giving them medicine. They, quite often they feel they become sick because they've been malnourished, uh, poor. Uh, so we're just trying to do the work that Jesus did, uh, which was uh, you know, feed the hungry, heal the sick, and preach the good news. To